Okay, in this tutorial we're going to look at binding with fish. So, um, last time we created the bones, this time we're going to make the mesh follow the bones, or the joints rather. Um, what we don't want to include when we're doing this is we don't want to use these end bones as part of the influence. So basically all the bones that um, we have selected will be influenced uh, influence in the mesh when we bind it. Um, these aren't necessary. Okay. So uh, if we were to go in, if, you know, if you wanted to do that and actually have these as part of the influence, we can go in and select the root and edit, select hierarchy, and we can select everything. Um, I'm going to do this a different way. I'm just going to go to Window, Outliner. It's going to go in and just in my objects, I'm just showing my joints here. So this is what a normal looks like. Okay. Um, if you go into these right now, let's go into this, you can actually see on these that we've got this end bone within this. We can filter this out. Let's go to this um, typing box here. I'm just going to type in J and T, which is the prefix we used. Um, and then if we just type asterisk and press enter, what this is going to do is it's going to filter out. Just click plus on all of these. It's going to filter out all of those end bones. Okay. Um, I've been expanded all of those now. We're just going to joint. Uh, and the root and shift click on the rest of the bones and then we just need to in the viewport shift click on our mesh and go to skin bind skin I'm going to do a smooth bind and just go to the settings just going to reset this um, in the bind to I'm going to go on to selected joints um, so this is ignoring these if I was to have um, joint hierarchy in there, it would use the end bones and anything that was connected to this. So just with selected joints, I can just go in and bind the skin. Okay. Oh, first of all, I'm just going to um, change this max influences down. Um, the max influences, um, I'm going to take this down. This is how many joints Maya allows to control uh, individual points. Okay. So, um, generally four to five, this is a bit more of a simplistic object, so I'm just going to go and take that down to about three, okay? Um, everything else, leave as is, then leave bind two, and let's bind skin. Just go in and test this, just by clicking on one of the bones now. Okay, just undo that. Undo that. Um, another tail. Everything seems to be working okay. I'm just making sure I'm undoing all of these movements. I can see on the fin there, there's actually having some influence over the body, which we want to get rid of. Just make sure I ended that. The head. Okay, we have a problem with the eyes there. So then, a second. The jaw. You can see the jaw's got way uh, too much influence over the head itself, so that's something we're gonna have to fix. Side fins, again, way too much influence on in this. Um, see how these are bringing part of the body down underneath. So, how can we fix this? Uh, let's just close our outliner down. It's going to go onto the mesh. Uh, and I'm going to go into. Um, actually, first of all, I'm going to put an animation on this. Um, it's easy to see what's happening with it if we can actually see it animated. We can see the bones moving. Uh, without that, you keep having to move the bones separately, and that can just be a pain. So, uh, let's go into this. I'm just going to just hide my fish mesh for a second. I'm actually going to get these two spheres. Okay. Um, shift click on my head bone. And click P. I'm going to parent those in. There you go. 
So um, let's come out of this. I'm going to just go in and take on my selection set for surfaces. Uh, I'm just going to grab all of these bones and just click S for set key. I'm just going to go around frame 5 and actually I've got an animation on there already. Um, let's just get rid of this animation for now. So uh, I'm just going to go into Windows, Animation Editors, Grab Editor. Okay, and uh, doesn't look like we've got any keys on there. Just make sure I've selected all those bones again. Hmm. Okay, and individual ones I can actually see I've got um, animation on this. Going to delete these. Um, in fact, I'll just pause this while I delete. Okay, I've gone in there and just cleaned off all that animation data. There you go. Um, so I'm going to go frame five. I'm just going to go down here and click my auto key option on. Uh, this just means that when I move anything, it actually sets a key for me. So let's just start bringing this round. So we can see some of the problems in the mesh. Okay, uh, I'm trying to go through and move all of the bones that I need to check. And then I can see how each one is influencing. The actual mesh. Okay, that should do. Let's make sure I click auto key off. Let's look at this on the mesh. Um, okay, so smooth binds not done a bad job of this. Uh, there's just areas that we need to tweak and refine. So let's go in and think about how we can do that. So I'm going to go on and click the mesh. Just make sure I've got my selection set so I can click on mesh again. I'm just going to go in and go to skin, edit smooth skin, and I'm going to go to this paint skin waste tool and click on the tool itself. So what this gives us is all the joints uh, that are influenced in this mesh. And we can go into these now, and click on different parts. We can actually start looking at how this bone is affecting the vertices around it. Uh, this is shown by a colour coding, so we can paint detail into this. So it's gone from black, uh, no influence, through to white being complete influence, down to different shades of grey being um, you know, variations. So I'm just going to go into this. Let's so move my head bone selected first of all. Um, actually, let's go into the jaw for this. So you can see we've got real problems in this. The jaw has got a lot of influence over these vertices, which should be attached to the head. And this is what's pulling the eyes down, pulling all of the mouth down. So I'm just going to come in. Uh, if I press B and click on the left button and move the mouse, I can just reduce the brush size. And what I'm going to do is just go down here into the options and click on Add. <coughs> In fact, click on Replace. Um, so what I want to do is actually take this influence away. So in fact, what I'm going to click back on the head actually. Uh, I'm going to add influence on these vertices. It's always easy to add influence rather than taking influence away. Um, so by clicking on the head bone, we're actually going to start adding these vertices to be influenced by this bone. So let's go into this and let's click on this add function. Okay. I'm going to set my value to zero uh, to, to a full one. And let's start painting these points in. So you see as I start painting these, 
they start jumping up more to the position that should, they should be in. Paint it around the eyes. So be careful down here. I don't get any of the vertices that I don't want. with this influence out. And that's giving us a much better effect there. Okay. Just come around here a little more. So I can paint in where the head influences. Um, one of the other things we can do is actually start smoothing this out. So if we've gone a bit harsh down here, uh, and we start wanting to bring back some of the influence. I can actually smooth this. So I'm just going over to the smooth brush and I'm just going to smooth some of these sections out. Okay? Um, so let's look at one of the fins. Uh, so we're just looking at, let's just go down. Um, so this should be connected to the root fin side down here. Okay. Um, so again, we can see that the influence on this is actually going to part of the body here, where this is white, particularly down here as well. Um, so again, let's click on the bone that these should be selected, uh, which should be connected to. So in this case, it's actually the root. Top here. So let's start painting this again back in. So let's go to our add brush. And let's just go in, start painting this influence back onto this bone. Maybe go a bit further over just to bring that area out. Now, do you want to come up here a little bit as well? Crown around some of this. And then I'm going to go with my smooth. And smooth all of this out. Okay. So you can just keep going through, selecting your bones as you go through, so you can see the spine influence there. Um, actually, having a bit of influence over this area down here as well. Uh, let's go through and just add on this, let's bring some of this back into. into these areas. And go in and just smoothen this out. So this tool's really, really intuitive. Um, much nicer to do this and much quicker than having to work with individual vertex weightings. So it's blending everything in, making a really nice smooth transition. Okay. Um, so that's it for this tutorial. Have a try with your own models. Um, just try going through each one, playing around with the weighting of these. Uh, you know, doing the tail thing, you can get exact weighting over those. Uh, and just have fun with it. Okay. Uh, just a final note to this. Um, Self-tutorials 
if we've skinned uh, or we've bound the character and we've gone through and painted all our weights in, uh, we happy with it? No, this needs some tweaking still. Um, but if you've really been concentrated on one side and you want to get all of that information to the other side, Maya allows us to do this. Um, what we can do is just click on our mesh, go into skin, edit smooth skin, and I'm going to go down to the mirror skin weights. Uh, let's just reset this. Just need to make sure this is on the right plane, so we did this in another one. Uh, ZY is the plane, if you imagine the rectangle on that. That's the one that we want. Uh, so YZ. We're going from this side, this is the one we've mainly been working on. So we're going from positive to negative. Remember, this is zero, any value to this side, positive x, any value this side, negative x. So plus x to minus x. Uh, we're just going to use colour suit points on the surface. It's the same mesh on the other side, so no need to worry about that. And just uh, mirror. Okay. And that's took all those weights across. Okay.